have its good side, as I say, it's the West Ham stations is where they go. It's a, a major station. They teach that if you want to be a good Muslim, you must separate off from non-Muslim. It's only Tablighi Jamaat, of all the, the, what they've studied over there, is it's only Tablighi Jamaat of all the Islamic groups that has created ghettos over in Toronto, you know, in Canada. You go across the Philippines and see what they've done in the Philippines, or right the way around the world, it's a huge group, and wherever they go, they create barriers, they create hostility, they create division, they create separatism. It does not want to integrate. That is counter to David Cameron's policy of multiculturalism. The grounds on which they're trying to set up here in Britain in a big way are anti-British, they are anti-Western, but actually they're also anti-worldly. They're otherworldly. But this is not just going to be a mosque, this is going to be a centre of training in which to reach out to Islamize Muslims, to harden up and medievalize the Islam of ordinary Muslims in this country. And I meet so many Muslims who don't want that. I'm in my training contract, but I haven't put it out there because I don't want anyone else to do it. Sorry to say that, but poor um, uh the British government is walking a tightrope, and the reason is this. A lot of people oppose mosques uh, uh, um, and due to Islamophobia. And the British government doesn't want to be seen to be pandering to them, rightly so. However, th the problem here is that Muslims themselves are opposing this mosque, not on the grounds that they don't want to worship their God, but on the grounds that women aren't allowed, the local population, the Muslim population, has no um, um, say in how the mosque itself is governed. People are burying their heads in the sand and they're not, they're not prepared to, you know, sift out the, uh, the good from the bad and to call a thing by what it is. I think that it will go through unless more people are prepared to look at it for what it actually is. This is not anti-Muslim, it is not anti-mosque, it is anti this particular development. In many ways, if this went ahead, it'd be like a tipping point and uh, it would, there'd be no stopping fundamentalist Islam if this one goes out. Well, if that happens, we'd all need to leave the country. With the last one out, please turn the lights off.